Okay, uh, I know it's uh, winter and you're probably not thinking of uh, buying anything like this now, but uh, a lot of guys, uh, girls that have motorcycles in the winter time, they think about the upcoming year, what trips they want to take, and they start buying stuff, getting ready for it. Uh, last year I was in that mode and I knew I had to go across the Mojave Desert twice on this trip and it wasn't just a little ride it was like hours and hours through the desert looking at the previous uh, history of the temperatures of the of what I should expect during that time of the year it was going to be at least 110 and so I think that the averages were around 108 something like that and so uh, I didn't know how I was going to do it without being so uncomfortable I didn't want to do it so I bought an evaporator vest I've never owned before and I bought one for the old lady um, what we did what what you do is you charge these things up you just put it in water it takes about two and a half minutes or so and it, it absorbs water almost like a sponge and oh, at about a hundred and hundred degrees or so you, you you want to put it on and it will last close to two hours at a hundred but at a hundred and sixteen degrees it will last about 45 minutes so uh, but it's very effective you know it, it does cool you off it makes uh, going through that heat bearable uh, we were glad that we bought these it doesn't really matter what brand you get I don't, I don't think now, I bought the this one's called a fly uh, I think it was like 30 bucks so yeah you can pick these up for about 30 25 35 dollars depending on what brand and maybe if it has some extras to it but uh, the way to deal with these things is get these big ziplock bags this one here it says oh, it says right up here it's 13 inches high right here um, anyways what you do is you charge these things up in your sink and then after you charge it up you put them in these bags make sure it has this double sealant here on and um, put an extra quart or two of water in it and then you could just lay, lay it down in your saddle bag or whatever you have and we never had an issue it never leaked and we used it a lot um, and so let's say we put it on and then an hour and a half later we needed to recharge if there was a rest stop nearby I would just go in there and we'd charge it in, in that bathroom but if we were out in the boonies and there was no nothing we we would be able to charge it again with the the extra water that we had in here uh, which we had to do a couple times uh, especially when we were going through the uh, two lane blacktops in California uh, so um, I highly recommend these if you're going through if you're going to go through a lot of heat we have some sections out here in Arizona especially in the low country and in the Mojave Desert um, in Nevada um, I've been in other areas in uh, Arizona out west here where it's like blistering hot it's like 112 115 degrees uh, these work great man if you have these with you um, you know if yeah, yeah just keep them nearby because it might be cool in the morning but it's going to do nothing but warm up when that sun comes up so uh, have them available have them charged up ready to go and then 
keep them in these bags so it doesn't leak all over in your saddlebags and um, just make them readily uh, accessible you know and put extra water in there so that you can have a second charge so um, uh, something I, I highly recommend for people that are going to be in high heat conditions with their motorcycle this brand actually worked pretty good I, I was happy with it it fit well is that stri yeah that, kind of, that stretches there too so yeah they're pretty light with no no water in it. You put some water in there and you get some weight, man. All right.